going to do the A for long time haul. I have a few dresses here that I had for a long time now. I put this one for a special occasion, a wedding that I had in emergency. So, you know, it was just such a mess because this is not the right size. This is size 40, believe it or not. And I am size 34. Even though it was a long time ago, I still have the same size. So, yeah. And these two were for cocktail uh, uh, dresses. So, uh, cocktail parties. <laughs> to party a little bit. <laughs> so, let's get to it now. This is the first dress we are going to try on. As you can see, it has a small v-neck with fabric here to kind of hide your cleavage a little bit to make it more mysterious. And you have some decoration here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, lines of it on the left and on the right. Then you have some pads inside that you can't remove and it feels like it has also a wire here so just in the middle of your breast uh, to make sure that the shape is a uh, round then you have one layer of fabric of transparent fabric that is separated in two pieces and then you have one two two uh, layers of the other fabric and uh, that is not separated into in half and you have uh, this layer that is not transparent to hide your underwears that's it let's try it on Let's talk a little bit about the cleavage. <sighs> it is so pretty so long as you're not breathing in or out. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to lose the cleavage completely. And uh, the problem is not even this. The issue is that I take size 4T instead of size 34. Guess what? It's not fitting me, even though it was tailored afterwards and supposed to fit my body size. Why, you might ask? Well, it's just because they, uh, the company that created this dress added pads on the top as well as a wire. Remember, I told you when presenting the dress, they added a wire here from uh, the middle top part of the breast to um, the middle bottom of the dress. So you have a line like this that you can't move unless you are changing the wire, you have to and so I mean it's just a mess. And I needed this dress in emergency, remember I was supposed to go to a wedding in a few days afterwards. So uh, I really needed the dress in emergency and I got it tailored very quick. So thank you again for tailoring my dress. And that's how it looks now, so uh, I guess the bottom of it still fits me. <laughs> I can't even remember. Oh my gosh. It may have been completely empty over there <laughs> when I first put the dress because it was a very long time ago. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> first, it was before I got pregnant, you know. So. The, um, as far as the bottom of the dress is concerned, it is not that long. Just look here. Yeah. It's barely touching the ground and it makes it also super easy to walk in because it's, um, it's an old dress slash modern dress. What do I mean by that? Well, I just mean that the bottom of it, the, so the back basically, is long and you have a short dress on the top, uh, I mean on the front. So this is the front and then it is quite ample so you can swing in it and all. And the fact that this is um, designed that way makes it very easy to walk in because you don't have to take your dress up, remember, and walk in like this. <laughs> no, you can just walk casually and not even mind about your dress, you know. So I truly appreciate that. Also, one thing I was kind of afraid of when I first bought the dress was those decoration because I felt they would look too cheap and I really don't like having um, this kind of 
plasticky uh, pearls or stuff like this that do not look good and I was really afraid it would look like uh, too much but it didn't and it looks quite cute first it's super thin it's the best thing ever for summertime right now you might not see but there's a ton of sun going through the window even though we are just early March and it's it's getting crazy hot here so I truly really also appreciate that it is strapless <laughs> the best thing ever yeah so this is the dress in a nutshell <laughs> One thing the tailor did to help me not to lose my top was, I believe, I'm not sure she added the straps or she just reduced the size of them, um, but they made them so short so I wouldn't lose my top and I appreciate that. <laughs> the first cocktail dress is this feather looking dress. It's super smooth. You have a layer here to hide your underwear and you have this one, the, this more transparent one that is just here to add some decoration and volume to the dress. And also whenever you move, you know, the, this fabric is more ample, so it would uh, float. You have also some feather on the top and look at the back, it's pretty cool. This is a nude back, so you might want not to wear any bra on it. Um, with it or you can just wear uh, something here but I didn't bring them with me today unfortunately so I will have to um, wear this dress without anything underneath which you can do too oh, and I love this white talisman it looks like the um, you know the talisman you have, uh, you put on top of your bed to chase the bad dreams, nightmares. <laughs> so, pretty cool. I love the color as well, that's why I chose it. And that's it. But with this dress, there was a bad, I remember there was a bad impression uh, once I wore it. So you will see in a second what it is about. <laughs> Otherwise it is so smooth. This dress is a big no no for me. I remember now what happened with it. I first bought it. Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a situation where you saw a, an outfit online that appeared on the mannequin, on the model, like crazy beautiful? You order it, so you buy it, you order it, you receive it, and as you open the package and as you try the item, the feeling slightly, the, the feeling of uh, satisfaction, complete satisfaction, slightly, slowly fades. And just look at me right now. I look like a grandma, kind of um, modern grandma. <laughs> it's just. I love the color, I love the pattern, but the fact that it is not fitting my body is just, uh, it makes it too baggy for me and the design is just, it feels old. And I don't like this. I like the bottom, the back though. It's pretty beautiful. So, one of the big problems with this dress is the length. It is just too long and it doesn't look appealing. It's too long. It should be shorter and more form fitting for me uh, to fit me and to look more appealing. Otherwise, I mean, come on. I just really look like a grandma right now. And 
This is the second party dress slash cocktail dress with some frills on the front, embroidered leaves on the side of your ribs, as well as a huge plunging v-neck area to enjoy your cleavage in the mirror. <laughs> you also have some straps that you can put on your shoulders if you wish, or you can put them on the side, you know, just uh, for the um, just for decoration, basically, or they can be useful on your shoulder. Once you remove the, the frill, you will see that the back area is longer than the front. And this is to um, make your legs appear longer too. You have one, two, three, three layers of frills on the bottom area and on the top you solely have one here. This is so cool because whenever you move, you know, it will swing with you. <laughs> Can't wait to try it on. Let's go. As you can see, it also has a wire here that is pretty harsh, but it doesn't do anything on your skin. It's not going on your ribs or anything. It's really well protected and it's just here to press your breast against your your body and that's it. So nothing will be revealed whatsoever. And here you also have some um, kind of sticky plastic to make sure it adheres to your skin. So there was a little accident, little tiny accident with a white frill dress that you're going to see in an instant. <laughs> Anyway, there is this dress to make, him, make it up for it. I have a... So in order to wear it, as you can see at the beginning, you have a zip here, golden zip. So this is a white dress with a frill. I love putting my hands in it. It's just so soft. <laughs> and do you see what it does whenever you move it? Usually when you are wearing a plunging v-neck like this one, you can add jewelry, um, the multiple layers jewelry that goes down to deepen the depth of it. Yeah, so that's what I chose to do today. I, to tell you the truth, I did this try on yesterday and there was a huge knot on this, um, this necklace uh, so I couldn't try it on, plus the lining was pretty bad too, so I redid, I reshoot the video and I'm so glad I did. My mom, my mom helped me out um, with um, the huge knot that there was he uh, here and I made uh, sure that it was also shorter. The necklace is supposed to be super long like uh, here where the um, v-neck hand ends and you can see that in the previous video that you have here <laughs> so or there i don't know well, you will have it somewhere uh, on the screen and you can just take a look at it you'll see it's from in style if you're wondering it's super cute same for the earrings this are golden earrings from uh, in this style so if you want to grab them before they are out of stock, I recommend you this website. <laughs> this dress is a bodycon dress. Oh my gosh, I love this dress. Um, this dress is especially for partying too. Uh, yeah, especially for partying because it embraces my curves and everybody's curves. Right. Usually I don't wear a big neck that or that plunging just because I don't want uh, to party and then my top goes down. I really decide that or whenever you are moving around or trying to go on the ground 
uh, to search for something or for your bag, to grab your bag and all. And then or you just curve like this, uh, you see everything. This will not be the case with this dress because it's compressing your breasts so much. You know, you're not uh, in pain at all now. It's just uh, uh, completely okay. It works like a bra. And yeah, it compresses your breast, and you just have a beautiful cleavage with the tranquility of your mind of doing anything you want. Contrary to this one, that, is, that was way too long for me, uh, this one is too short. So whenever you're partying and all, the dress might go up, up, up. And my, you might just uh, see your panties or something like this. So maybe wear something underneath. Of course, you're go going to wear something underneath. I don't know. Um, but some girls I know they all wear the shorts uh, underneath it. You know those uh, black legging uh, underwear kind of thing. Whenever they are wearing these types of dresses, you can definitely do that. Maybe it will adhere more to the fabric, although if this is a legging, uh, the fabric is very smooth, so it would have the contrary effect. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have the same thing as in your dress. You know, in here on the front, you have some plastic thing to adhere to your skin, but you don't have it on, on uh, the bottom of the dress. So. That's okay, everything is alright. This dress is so cute. So how, the way I was, um, you know, I told you, you can wear the straps either on your shoulder or off your shoulder. Technically speaking, these types of frills are meant not to be on the shoulder, but off the shoulder, <laughs> on your arms. This is the way you're supposed to uh, wear it but you know i truly love it it's just whenever you're wearing it like this it might be cute but it's very uh, not convenient if i wear them like this i will worry that my top goes down you know having them on my shoulders reassure me um, <laughs> So yeah, twist on it. Oula, wait, I'm already losing my car. Uh, it's time to put the shoulders back, the straps back. Oh, and you have to make sure that the frills are well placed every time. as well as my previous video I did for you to learn French because so many of you asked me a long time uh, to my American followers especially asked me oh you know it would be great if she were doing more because in French it's such a beautiful language and all so that's why I decided to teach you my language and also um, the French people that are following me they kind of like that too so it was pretty cool and I hope you're gonna enjoy the next ones too. The next one would be the ABCs. Ah, I think I'm telling you too much now. Um, but either way, it's okay. You arrived at the end of the video, you watched everything and now you want to know more, right? <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to teach you the ABCs. So you have the basic and uh, phonic. I don't know if you say phonetic or phonic, I think you can say phonetic because I believe I did search this uh, word before, but then I saw phonic on some video, video so I'm just confused. Um, so yeah, you will see this too to learn the, sound the sounds correctly and I will give you some examples. I will use the toy my mother bought for my daughter so, and she's not using it uh, apart from for throwing it on the ground <laughs> so yeah that's why we put it on the table for the moment it's resting and uh, so are our hardwood floors and the tiles 
<laughs> and then I will do a vlog next week. I will not do a travel. Um, since we are, going, we are preparing a surprise for my grandma, I will know more <laughs> next week. Since we are preparing a surprise for her, we are for, um, for Friday, we are planning to well, watch the vlog <laughs> and you will see. <laughs> So I will see you on Wednesday and I will also see you on Friday, which I hope I will have edited everything out there. <laughs>